Hello, Leo. Welcome and welcome back. This is a tarot reading for the sign of Leo. Of any and all placements and wherever Leo resides in your current chart. Well, not your current chart, your chart. Okay, this is for Leo during the month of May. We're going to be looking at an overall for the month and then we're gonna break it down by week one, two, three, and four. See what energies are coming in for you. Any advice and guidance if necessary, okay? It's me, Scorpio Spy. Thank you for the likes, comments, subscriptions, shares. Helps keep the channel going. I'm very grateful, thank you. Okay, Leo please, the month of May. May, May, May. For Leo. What's a matter of importance for Leo, please? All right, interesting. Ooh, why are these cards like flipping out like that? Like it literally flipping out? Is somebody flipping out here? Okay, I feel like some of you guys experienced like a brief, um, not a brief, like a quick ending prior to this or like something, something was, was like the last straw. It's like, okay, I'm done, I'm over it. And it was just like flip, like everything just flipped or it's about to be here, okay? Because we're seeing two death cards here. Um, that death will come. So this is like fragile grounds that wanted to pop out. Bottom of the deck is jealousy, very interesting. I feel like you may be kind of removing yourself from a situation here, Leo. Um, maybe you need some space, you need some time. This is almost like I'm going at it alone. I need to say goodbye here or I'm switching things up, okay? I feel like maybe this isn't what's completely desired, but it's almost like the natural course of things or what's really just happening or what needs to happen next. You see what I'm saying? Okay. We have this. What does this say? Death rites. Saying goodbye. Formal occasion and honoring lives here. But the fact that the cards are so jumpy, maybe also, Leo, you could be feeling more reactive than usual this month. Um, maybe it's because a lot of things are very pent up here. And it's almost like, okay, I gotta take myself out of the situation. I don't wanna bite people's heads off or I don't want them to do that to me. This is what this feels like to me. There's a lot of reactivity going on. So for example, someone could do something and it's like you're already pent up or wound up throughout the day by like little occurrences or little annoyances. And then you're like, I can't take it anymore. You just like storm out or you just end a situation. You hang up the phone. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm getting in the month of May. It's okay to feel like that, Leo. You might, you might be feeling a little pent up. We've got free will here and in need of a change, right? We have sovereignty, independence, and free spirit, 23. Yeah, maybe this is like anger, frustration, annoyance, whatever. Um, the thing is, there's a, there's a good reason that we have anger. Anger is an energy that if you channel it properly, okay, you can create revolutions. Um, you can change things. You can... Um, realize what it is you don't want and that anger kind of pushes us into what we do want it kind of forces a change when maybe you have been reluctant prior okay i feel like i said this in someone else's reading i don't remember who it was we have jealousy envy punishment and changing course okay um religion yeah all right some kind of commitment here guys um some kind of commitment could be like maybe pissing you off or like draining you. I feel like there's a question about like, um, I tried my best to honor this commitment where I was so loyal and it just bit me in the behind or like bit, it like, you just see what I'm saying? Okay, whether that's you or someone else here. For Leo in the month of May, what are we doing here for Leo? Month of May. Financial and material changes. Material changes. I feel like you're like getting rid of like clothes or like fabrics, like like sheets. I heard cheese, but okay, sheets. I don't know why. You, maybe you are getting rid of cheese. Whatever. Maybe something just smells. <laughs> Okay, so we have positive movement forward on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you know how like sometimes if you wash your clothes and you don't dry them immediately or you don't put them to dry, then they, they get like a smell. Maybe that's what's happening. Base chakra, um, triumphant success. All right, accelerated motion. Hey, um, here's the deal. I do feel like this energy is actually supporting you into a new path. Um, 
you're moving forward for sure. It's like you're able to focus now on your security, especially with this base chakra energy. So base chakra does have a lot to do with being grounded, being in the natural world here or creating things so that you can have that security. And I feel you may be having a lot of new ideas about this, about what security means to you or... Um, Maybe it is financial for some. So I feel like because you're going through a shift in an environment with a person, now you're able to figure your own security here. Or maybe this is like um, needing to, like you have to figure out how you're going to support yourself or how you're going to have stability here moving forward, especially with the financial and material changes. Let's say that you were with someone and like you guys, you know, split I don't know what the bills or you shared accounts or um, you had to split some assets here. Now moving forward, it's like you're seeing an idea of um, how you can sustain yourself moving forward here. Because I see this. This is positive movement forward waiting game. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe you're planning this. Yeah, okay, so there could be a little bit of a holdup or a little bit of a wait here, but I feel like you're going from an energy of feeling like, oh man, this sucks, I don't have anything, or what am I gonna do, right? How am I gonna how am I gonna be sustained? How am I gonna feel secure? Maybe even within yourself or some of you. But then I see that you have like a it's almost like you're guided toward your stability, or like all of a sudden there's an idea that pops up, or all of a sudden, like I got you, Leo, I got you, or something like that happens here. All right, here. Let's see. Yeah, something was not stable for you. So now you're creating your own. Yeah, look, trapped in fear. Oh no, Leo, what's up? Firm foundation. So some of you guys may be worried or concerned about leaving something that's been in your life for quite some time, whether it's a job, a relationship, an environment. Maybe you're afraid about this. Stand your ground power, sacral chakra. You're afraid to go after something that you want here, or maybe it's just not quite ready. Okay, this is like Eight of Swords energy. And you're right here, by the way. The power card, this is a Leo energy. Stand your ground, that's also Leo energy. So you know you need to protect your desires or you know you need to stand up for yourself and um, go after what it is that you want. But you, you could be worrisome or fearful of a change that's coming in for you. It's coming regardless, okay? It's just that with this firm foundation energy, you're making a big change to your security here, okay? So yeah, this could be going at it alone, okay? Um, starting a new career in a different foreign area, something that you're not familiar with, or moving to a new town and you're kind of worried about that or like you have ideas about this and you're worried about all these things, okay? This is what I feel is happening for you in the month. But you are creating, you are creating, maybe you're just thinking too much, um, overthinking, worried about this, but it's it's happening anyway, Leo? I'm not sure what to tell you. Like I feel like it's happening anyway. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna look at every week for the month of May. So that's four weeks. We're looking at it like four weeks, okay? So May, uh, week one, week two, week three and four here for Leo. What's coming in for Leo in the first week? I am seeing the nine of swords, the eight of swords, the 10 of swords. I am seeing this self-discipline, very nice. So the second week, second week. I'm hearing flagellation? No. Wait, is that even how you say that? Okay, um, teaching and learning. The fourth week, healing. Oh my. Okay. Perseverance. Ah, perseverance is key, Leo. Yeah, stand your ground. Keep it up. Don't let your guard down. Keep pushing for what it is that you want, what you believe, what you need, okay? Effort, exactly. Keep at it. Like you have effort with perseverance here. Be relentless, like keep going. I feel like there's like a Taurus like giving you eye rolls for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about. Like maybe there's a Taurus in your environment that rolls their eyes at you or they think like you're outrageous or something. Okay, so the first two weeks it's looking like, keep in mind the perseverance, okay? So you're gonna need to uh, remain steady. Um, lean on what it is that you know, what it is that you feel and you believe and like keep at it. Like don't give up this month, all right? 
that's where the discipline comes in as well. Um, we have a card in that, that vampire deck that looks like, um, or not looks like, it says discipline, and I'm getting that right now. So I feel like you, you have to remain consistent here this month, okay? Um, careful planning. I feel like you have ideas or like a passion, something that you're believing in the first and second week here. And then by the third and fourth week, it looks like something is dying down or you're feeling more calm. So this is good, but let's go ahead and see what's going on. Show me the first week for Leo, please. What's this first week? I'm not sure what the music is about in the second week just yet. We'll get to it. First week. Self-discipline for Leo. Moon card. Literally. Okay. So the moon card can indicate like your subconscious or like fears or like a lot of things that you're feeling and thinking at the same time. I am seeing the nine of swords. The eight of cups. Okay. You're worried about leaving here. Or like you're, you're overthinking, like abandoning a situation, aborting a situation, like abort mission, or like, let me get up and leave, or let me change, or let me do something different. Let me switch up all of a sudden. Um, you may have fears about this, or like you're concerned to do that. You're very emotional about it, or you're overthinking things. Like, as you can see, like she's like kind of drowning in her emotions here, in her worries. Drowning into the depths, the four of cups. The higher font, ooh. Leo, when I see this right now, I feel like you're, you're kinda, you, you don't want what you have in this first week. Um, you're feeling like you want to leave or you wanna do something else in this first week, okay? It could be that like a, like a commitment that you've made prior is kind of testing you at this point or like you've made some prior commitment or for some of you, it's like, yeah, I'll be there. Like, like even if it's a plan, right? I'll be there. I'll do that. Or I made this promise to you or um, some routine that you're in or a relationship that you're in or a contract that you're in. You don't want it anymore. Like you're not feeling it. You feel you feel kind of like, I don't know what to do. Like I'm stuck here now. Like I just want to quit or I want to leave. I don't want to do this anymore. How do I get out of this? So I feel like this is what's going on in the first week here. Okay, yeah, maybe there's a there's a cancer energy or a Taurus energy involved. Could be. Doesn't have to. Okay, the six of pentacles, again some Tauran energy, and there's moon in that. I'm hearing reluctance. Time's up. I feel like time is up here. Or like you feel like you can't get any more from this situation. Like you can't grow anymore. Like your growth is inhibited. Or like um, you just don't want to be given anymore to this situation. Like it's not fulfilling right now. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are getting this this month, guys. Like something similar throughout the month. Like people are getting a little... Um, disillusioned or like lackluster in their situations. So you have the five of wands here. Tell me about this five of wands. Yeah, maybe it's an earth sign energy or this is about... I feel like it's like you're forcing yourself to keep up with an agreement here or you're trying to and it's just making you like sick. Like you're so sick of it. Like you're so sick of the environment. You're so sick of a relation. I'm sorry. Okay. So sick of a relationship or you're so sick of doing the same thing here. So you have an inner conflict. This is like you're, you're conflicted about staying where you are because you don't want to, but you feel like you have to. I have to stay here. This is the way life is. You know, um, I'm not sure what else would even be out there for me. I'm afraid to switch this up right now, or this is more comfortable than not. There's something like this going on. The Seven of Swords is here. So you're plotting something or you're thinking something up. All right. Wow. And there you are. The Sun card with the Justice and the Seven of Swords.
I feel like you're keeping it to yourself here, Leo, that you're planning something or you're planning some sort of escape or you're planning a switch up or a change. You're doing things behind the scenes. Maybe maybe just you're thinking this up or you're, you're looking at options. You're looking at opportunities or thinking about opportunities. Tell me more about this for the first week. The Nine of Cups, literally. Like you're conflicted about what it is that you want here. So you kind of just stay where you are with the Four of Swords. Like you feel like you're contracted or maybe you are like maybe this is some sort of job that you're contracted for like independent contractor and you kind of don't want to be doing it anymore or it's taking too long or um you're just bored or something like that and you don't even want to be there anymore like you thought you wanted it or at one point you did and now you're just like now i don't know what i want or what to do so i'm just gonna stay here the four of swords be okay See, I feel like you're trying to figure a smart way to get out of something but for the for right now it's like you're you're kind of there or like you're staying there, okay? Okay, we'll move to the second week in a second. Yeah, the fool. I also feel like there's some sort of accounting taking place here. like um, banking or accounting or something like that in the first week. Maybe you're opening a new account or separating your 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 money from a situation. Um, the Five of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like you're not like telling like, maybe it's a Taurus, like you're not telling this person like what you're really wanting or what you're really doing here. or this cancer, whoever this is. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, look at that. It's like you need some sort of freedom or you need like a breath of fresh air this week, okay? I feel like some of you guys could secretly be opening up like a new account or like you could be secretly like investing into something here or secretly like stashing some money so that you could plan some, like you could plan like a, like an escape or I, I know it sounds kind of dramatic, right? Or you could plan like you can buy something that you really want for yourself like like something to make you feel alive or something to make you feel free here okay all right show me the second week for leo what's the second week here for leo with the music i'm not getting anything intuitively off of that music energy so there you are again with the justice second week for leo I'm hearing help, I need somebody, help, not just anybody. Okay, there's a sun card. Very nice, Leo energy, seven of swords, there you go. There you go, doing that seven of swords stuff. Let me move this over a little bit, my loves. Okay, so maybe there is, um, that's you though, like you're popping up like this. I also feel maybe somebody's got an Aquarius energy here somewhere. I feel like you're planning on doing something unexpected here in the second week, or it's like you, you, hmm, emperor. Literally, there it is again, that moon card. I feel like you have plans to do something unexpected, guys. That's all I'm getting so far. Let me see, seven of swords. Maybe you need to go dancing or listen to music or something like that. Like you feel better, dance around the house, whatever this is. The page of wands, literally. So like, uh, five of cups. Hmm. 
Okay, I feel like you have like an idea here or like, uh, it's not, it's, okay. So you have ideas of like how to switch things up for yourself or you're like planning how to switch things up for yourself. But because we have the five of cups here, it's almost like um, you might feel bad or you might kind of be be thinking about like what you're losing or what was lost here. It's like, it's like you're planning something, you're plotting something and like you're excited about it or like you wanna take it to the next step. But even though like something's gonna be uncomfortable for you, I still feel like you're, you're doing it or you're wanting, you're still wanting to do it. Tell me more about this. And there's that dancing energy. So maybe join like a dance class or I don't know, take some lessons because we, because right here she's playing a drum or music lessons. Maybe that's what's coming into this. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like there's a three of swords here. I feel like you, you may feel bad about like what it is you're plotting or planning to like put a stop to something or the change that you're making that you're moving in silence or you're moving privately, secretly here. Um, but it's like you're still doing it anyway, even though like you feel bad or you're worried that you're hurting somebody or you're worried that this person's hurt here. You're still moving through it. Like you're still going through um, the feeling of sadness or the feeling of loss. It's like, because you have an ace of cups here, yeah. Devil. Uh-oh. Um, you may have like a Capricorn, Aquarius. Someone with those placements or like someone who has feelings for you popping up this week here. We're also here in the second week. And the five of pentacles and the tower so this is when you when you decide to act on something here and you leave something out or you leave someone behind okay tower card in the wheel yeah it's like something that you plan to keep to yourself so that you could like switch things up or do something different Oh, the Three of Cups. I feel like you're kind of just going through this on your own, like you're just like bent out of shape or you're worried about leaving something behind. If it, it feels like, like a massive commitment. I feel almost like you're allowing yourself to like stray from this idea or you're allowing yourself to like think of new things to do or look, yeah, cause you, cause you, you just really want some new energy in here. You, you're just waiting for a new opportunity or you're waiting for the spark to be lit for you. Okay, what else is here in the second week? The Nine of Pentacles. All right. So here's a world card. Um, I feel as though there's definitely a focus on what it is that you are desiring in the second week, but I feel like it's almost like you're trying to entertain yourself. Um, like seriously, it looks like you're trying to entertain yourself in like various ways or um, maybe inviting friends to hang out with you or you're wanting to hang out with friends or someone who cares about you here because I feel like you feel like you lost something or you feel like you're losing something but you have to go through it anyway or like you're disappointed in the situation that you find yourself in. It's like you feel like you're losing, I don't know, hope or you're losing something or other, okay? So the main message there is to kind of do something to make yourself happy or um, it's, it's gonna work out because you're coming out with the nine of pentacles in the, in the world card. So all that is going away. Even though we're seeing like all these little, those are minor arcana, okay? So yeah, there's a disappointment or there's a sadness about this or some sort of regret, but you're still wanting to move through it anyway and you do and you look fine. Like everything works out, it's not a big deal. Maybe during, but I feel like afterwards, it's like you're proud of yourself, you're happy, you're, um, by the end of the second week, it's like you feel happy here. Yeah, Ace of Cups, that's what I'm saying. And the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like it's like you're back to feeling stable, you're back to feeling loved, or you're able to provide yourself some sort of love or care that you've been needing. Maybe this is like you actually need to care about yourself a little bit this week, or consider yourself, consider your environment and your surroundings here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
it's the third week, teaching and learning for Leo. So this could be also for some of you, um, something creative that you're needing to do to entertain yourself or to make yourself feel better. Like you, like, I feel like you gotta do something instead of like worrying about like, I hate this place or I hate this situation. And you gotta, ch you gotta change something up here so that you can feel happy again. And you do. Okay, so the third week we got some Nine of Wands energy. There you are. Why is this uh, fire energy coming out here like this? The Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Sun card for Leo. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Perfect. Interesting. This is like a huge switch up. Like you're happy here, completely happy, surrounded by loved ones, um, people that you care about. Maybe this is your family for some of you, but I see you just being happy in your home here, or maybe you've started some new projects. If this is like painting, gardening, something like that, you're happy. You're happy in the third week. I feel like you're happy that you actually went through those shifts or like you took a chance, you did something different here. move through the initial discomfort or like the fear of like losing something or the fear of like not being happy afterwards you actually are so go through that because i feel like once you go through that shift or you actually take a chance in the second week you're you're happy here with this um magician okay chariot four of wands okay see there's the moon and the tower you don't have any questions here anymore about feeling more free or feeling exhilarated. It's just happening. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Sun card. The Page of Pentacles. Okay. And the Wheel. So there's a new opportunity coming in for you here that you could be thinking about. Yeah, it's a new life or... Um, possibly some of you involving finances or something that like something that's gonna make you happy. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Two of pentacles. So you find something that you really like here in the third week. Okay. Maybe you're connecting with um, an earth sign energy, <laughs> possibly again. But I feel like a lot of this is about you like finding stability, um, trying new things, maybe new hobbies or turning hobbies into things that's going to make you some sort of side cash or um, applying for new positions or something like that. I feel like you need a change in that sense. Like whatever it is that you're committed to, you, you need something fresh or new involving your materials, your environment, your body, as well as like work, okay? Or whatever it is that you do here. So I see you actually thinking, hey, um, I really like this. Maybe I could pick up another thing or maybe I could do it again or I can keep doing this. Um, I feel like you're picking up a new skill and you're learning it on the third week here and you're you're loving it. Like you're, you're really loving it. I'm seeing actually belly dancing for some reason. I don't know where all this dancing energy is coming from. Maybe it's the music. Okay, third week. Yeah, so these people are dancing too. Look, like you have your stability here. You figured it out? Like you figured it all out. Okay, the devil card. What is this? Four of wands. The ten of wands. Three of pentacles. Okay, um, I feel like you like it so much that you're going to be taking on like more projects or like um, you're overloading your schedule here because you're enjoying yourself, like you're happy with whatever things you're taking up, okay? We talked about it. And I feel like it's like maybe you're taking on so much that you realize, okay, maybe I maybe I signed up for too much or I overpromised some certain things here. I feel, just be cautious about that because I feel like that's what could be happening here in the third week. Let's move forward because I don't see anything too bad there. Like you have success, you have happiness, like you're feeling back to yourself. You feel good in the third week. You're happy. You're proud of your accomplishments. You're trying new things. You're thinking up new stuff as well. Okay. Tell me about healing in the fourth week. Okay, so Empress and the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. It's 
like a, a new opportunity comes in after you've stopped something else, but we knew this. Okay, the Two of Cups again. So you're healing some sort of partnership here in the fourth week, or someone's attempting to. Um, maybe this is something that you've been overthinking or you are overthinking it, or someone is. Because I feel like someone is trying to like strengthen a bond with you, strengthen a relationship with you. Maybe it's a Gemini or a Cancer. Okay. Tell me about this in the fourth week. I'm hearing literally date night. Yeah, the Six of Cups, look at that. So there's some healing to a connection that's trying to come in here in the fourth week, Leo. We have this Justice card on the bottom of the deck, yeah. Oh, wow. This is almost like, let's say that you're in a relationship with someone um, and you know that you need some other type of project in your life or you need something else going on. I feel like that's what this shift happens. And so like by the second and third week, you do start something new or you're starting new projects, meeting new people. You feel kind of bad about it at first. Then you realize you really like it. And then by the fourth week, you're able to spend time with someone um, rekindle a relationship or someone's attempting to rekindle a relationship here with the justice energy, like balancing things out. So I feel like this is, it's nice. It's like you have a place to come back and like rest your head or you have like a, a connection that is still going to be supportive of you here. Okay. Yeah. Emperor energy, some spousal stuff. I'm hearing spousal support. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's support from your spouse in different areas. All right. This is what I so we have, remember we have this perseverance energy for the month, so Ace of Wands. Okay, yeah, look at that. So here's the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is here. I feel like, yeah, there's like romance coming in. Um, the Seven of Wands is here with the Six of Wands. That's your energy. That's all Leo energy. And the Queen of Wands, wow. I feel you're going to have to balance your, your life here, Leo. This is the week that you're balancing everything back out. Or it's like moderation is key. Or like keeping up with like all types of commitments that you have. And by the fourth week, everything just makes sense. Or like you're balancing everything out. You have a lot of success here. The fourth week looks nice. It's like you're you're finally able to heal a relationship. Or like you're back with zest and vigor or whatever this is. You're like alive again. This fourth week, you're alive here. Look at, see the Queen of Wands? Yeah. It's like you've realized, um, like you found yourself again or you've connected with yourself again here by this week. So then in turn, you're able to. So let me tell you, this month, I feel like you need to reconnect with yourself is what this is. OK, because um, someone else had something similar to this. I don't recall who, but you need to reconnect with yourself so that you can actually be your best version to the people that you care about or like to the projects that you care about here. You see what I'm saying? This is like what this month is for you. Okay, so perseverance, remember that fourth week. The three of pentacles, yeah, the king of swords. Now you have enough emotional resources or why wow, you have tons of kings popping up here. You could also hear from an air sign here this week, the fourth week there, like a an Aquarius. All right, so careful planning. Um scheduling, delegating. Okay. That's what I feel here as well. I almost feel like there's a couple people re reaching out to you in the fourth week. Okay. I see air sign energy. I see earth sign energy, um, water sign. So, okay. Let's see what's up here. Let's get you these cords. First week for Leo, hidden truth. 
I love you. <laughs> My life is not together as it seems. Okay, so there's love in a situation here. Someone loves you, Leo. First week for Leo. They said I wish I could take back my words. First week for Leo. I left when I saw you with someone. Okay, well, I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, second week for Leo. We will be together again. Yeah, well, I love you. Someone really loves you. It's almost like, okay, um, go do you, go do what you need to do. If you wanna go travel or you wanna go visit with your friends, you wanna start a new project, whatever this is, it's like this person is still wanting to like be there for you or be supportive of you and like your journey and things like that. Was this third week? I know I was a distraction. So yeah, maybe you, you needed to distract yourself for a little while, but I feel like you had to like connect with yourself or something or someone was like distracted for a while, but now you're, like I said, I feel like you're healing a connection by the end of the month. Was this fourth week? Fourth week, whoa, whoa, whoa. You came closer than anyone. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. Um, I feel a couple people are thinking about you a lot this week. They'll be reaching out. I also feel you're just building a bond coming closer here. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, literally. So the fourth week, it's like you're able to build a bond with somebody. I'm hearing build a bear. <laughs> Someone wants to be like your person, okay? Um, the bond is stronger by the fourth week. It's like you guys are getting along again. Or your, your, your bond is just growing. You're strengthening your connection. You guys are like yeah, you're able to come back to this or it's just been there all along supporting you or this person is, okay? All right, three cards for Leo for the month of May. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige, what's going on with her? Not sure. Okay, so moon card. Oh, that's not moon card, that's full card. Why did I say moon card? Oh yeah, you had the moon card a few times, okay. Ooh, look at that. You got the uh, the Hermit, the Crab, with the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting, I feel like Aquarius had something very similar here. Um, okay. So we did see you with the full card here in the first week. If you're looking for something new or you're looking for the right path, all you gotta do is, yeah, just uh, search for it. It pops up for you almost immediately. This is about you being uninhibited, being able to act on what it is that you truly want and not staying in some sort of funk here. So actually like get yourself out of the funk. If you feel like you're in a funk, you feel down, you feel bored, you feel, um, kind of like crap or like you're stuck on some stuff that's no longer there, you gotta look for the bright side, okay? The silver lining, or you gotta take a chance. You gotta try something new. That's what this is here, okay? Some of you guys may be needing to look for um, new opportunities in work or a friend can refer you to something here. That's what I see, like a friend refers you. Yeah, look, there's like a referral. Um, possibly involves like a like a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Interesting. Like a referral. I feel I don't know what it is. Referral? Okay. Some of you guys it's like therapy, counseling. But I feel it's financial. I personally feel it's financial. Okay. Well, let's get you one of these, Leo. Okay, Leo for the month. Okay, another one wants to pop out. Bottom of the deck, the Saint of Spoken Words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Yeah, so that's pretty much you kind of choosing your path here, choosing what it is you want to venture down or what new experiences you want to have, especially fool with the Ace of Pentacles, Hermit, okay? Um, just to get yourself out of a funk. So I feel like be the author of your story, all right? Decide what it is you want and then go after it. That's what it is this month. Okay, we have Dakini here, the Enlightened Feminine, lovely. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. Um, follow your instinct and intuition here because it does look like you're kind of finding something new, new project, new venture, whatever. 
Okay, you're being guided, guys. But you have to actually do it too. You can't, it's not just gonna like materialize in your lap unless you're that level. You know what I'm saying? Are you that level in the game? I'm just kidding. Love you so very much, Leo. <laughs> Feel free to check your other placements or the videos on the screen here. Your friends' placements, your brothers, your mothers, your cousins, your lovers, your neighbors, peep and Tom, peep down down the street. Check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. <laughs> Love you so much. Bye.